Moving into Revelation 16, we encounter the beginning of a profound and climactic sequence of events. Verse 1 sets the stage. Then I heard a loud voice from the temple saying to the seven angels, Go and pour out the bowls of the wrath of God on the earth. This verse is pivotal not only because it marks the commencement of the judgments contained within the seven bowls, but also because it underscores the source of this directive. The voice comes from the temple, which is the very presence of God, reinforcing that these actions are divinely ordained and executed under God's direct command. The use of a loud voice emphasizes the authority and the imperative nature of the command, leaving no doubt about the seriousness and the immediacy of what is to follow. The command to the seven angels to pour out the bowls signifies an action that is deliberate and total. The imagery of pouring suggests that these judgments will be comprehensive and overwhelming, covering the earth like a flood. This act of pouring out is significant in its finality and totality, indicative of God's complete and unreserved outpouring of justice. Each bowl, filled with the wrath of God, contains a specific judgment that will fulfill God's plan for retributive justice against the rebellion and wickedness that have marred the earth. The concept of wrath in this context is crucial to understand. It is not an expression of uncontrolled rage, but rather a righteous response to the cumulative sin of the world. It represents a holy God's necessary action to uphold His justice and righteousness in the face of persistent and unrepentant evil. This wrath is a key aspect of God's character as much as His love and mercy are. In the divine economy, justice and love are not opposing forces. Instead, they work together to bring about the ultimate good and the restoration of all things according to God's perfect plan. For the believer, this verse serves as a stark reminder of the severity of God's judgment against sin. It challenges each individual to reflect on the seriousness with which God views sin and the lengths to which He will go to eradicate it from His creation. It also serves as a call to live in a manner that aligns with God's holiness, urging believers to separate themselves from practices and systems that contravene God's ways. Furthermore, this verse also provides comfort and assurance to those who have been victims of injustice and oppression. It affirms that God is not blind to the sufferings and wrongdoings in the world. The outpouring of His wrath in response to evil underscores His commitment to justice and the righting of wrongs. For those who have felt powerless against the injustices of the world, this revelation of God's definitive action against evil offers hope and vindication. In addition, the communal aspect of this command, go and pour out, underscores the organized and purposeful nature of God's judgments. The angels, as agents of God's will, act in unison according to His commands. This organized execution implies that God's judgments are not random or chaotic, but are part of a well-ordered plan that aligns with His character and promises. As this scene unfolds, it invites the reader to consider the scope and scale of divine justice. It challenges us to expand our understanding of God's sovereignty and His active role in human history. Each judgment poured out from the bowls will specifically address different aspects of human rebellion and divine retribution, illustrating the thoroughness with which God addresses sin and evil. Revelation chapter 16 verse 1 not only sets into motion a series of divine judgments, but also encapsulates themes of divine authority, righteous judgment, and the assurance of God's ultimate control over the course of human events. It calls believers to a renewed reverence for God's power, a deeper commitment to His standards, and a more profound hope in His promises of justice and restoration. As this dramatic chapter begins, it is a solemn reminder of the weight of glory and the seriousness of our call 
to live in light of divine truth.